Well, hi, I'm here in Photoshop looking at how to control the edges of shapes so that they don't get what we commonly call jaggies. And curves tend to do that more than straight edges uh, because the raster graphics and the pixels of shapes uh, that are straight edged are in alignment and they're not quite aligned in uh, circles and ellipses. So first thing I want to make sure is that I'm selecting my oval tool and I don't want to be in um, the layers or the paths uh, mode. I want to be in fill pixels mode. So I want to make sure I click on that and then notice the anti-alias box. Okay, so if I draw a shape, there's an, o uh, an oval. If I hold my shift key down, I can draw a circle and I can draw another oval. And notice the edges are really irregular, okay? Now if I check my anti-alias box, see what happens, okay? This oval appears smoother. Hold my shift key down to make a circle, and that one's nice and smooth. And hold my, um, oops, I just draw another elongated oval. And notice that all three of these are very similar. However, the edges are much smoother because the anti-alias box has been checked. And if we zoom in, notice the, the edges are much more apparent. You can really see the breakdown. And the more we zoom in, the more we get the sense of how the pixels are actually breaking down. And let me scroll over. I'm at 600% right now. Let me scroll over and notice there's, you know, that soft fuzz that happens. Nonetheless, uh, even with all of that, as soon as um, we go back down to, you know, the 100% normal size, okay, 100% or average size, the, you know, the, the original size, then the image looks much crisper. So that's how we control uh, the edges of, um, you know, jaggies, make them smoother. You've got to have that anti-alias box check when drawing your shapes. All right, hope that is helpful, and see you back in class.